Arrgh! I've got a hankering for some ocean perch! <laughs> Now, ocean perch, you see, comes from the ocean. And there's also lake perch. And both of them are delicious, you know. I love them both. Lake perch, the best ones are from Lake Erie. One of the great lakes in the uh, north coast of the United States. Oh, that's fine. You've seen yellow perch before. This is an ocean perch, you see. I'll show you some pictures here of what the difference is. Now this here is your freshwater yellow perch. And this, you, the best one you can find there in Lake Erie. And this is a very tasty fish. It's probably the most popular fish in the Great Lakes. And here's what the fillets look like. And traditionally you bread these and deep fry them. They're very, very good. Now this here is your ocean perch, and it has a sweet flavor, and it's a little bit more pungent, but it's very good also. And here's what the fillets look like. And you can deep fry these too, but you can also cook them other ways, and that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to cook it a different way I never tried before, so wish me some luck. Cross your hooks. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Cross your hooks. And I'm going to cut this into small pieces. And we're going to make a special recipe. First, I want to make sure. First, you want to make sure before you do anything else. Is you go over the, go over it and see if there's any scales on it. You don't want no scales in your, in your food. There's one right there. You got rid of that one. But now, the rest of these seem okay. That one's okay. All right. We're going to we're, we're going to make a special recipe. So I'm going to cut these up. That's probably okay. Into some bite-sized pieces like that. Okay. So. Instead of bread, and then we're just gonna saute them with some other things. I'm gonna try something brand new. I ain't never tried it before. And you know me, I like trying new things. It's how you, it's how you learn stuff. You try new stuff. Don't be afraid to do something you ain't never done before. It's important to know that. Okay, now we got lots of nice pieces over here. We're gonna put them in there. Now I'm going to rinse off this cutting board. Okay, I got my cutting board freshed up. I'm going to dry it off because i got to cut some other things. Now, being that this is tending to be a bit of a stinky fish, we're going to add a little water to this. And I'm going to put in some lemon juice. Just a little. Oh, not too much. That's a lot there. That was a lot. That's okay. I'm going to toss it around. So it, uh, it gets, gets all through the fish there. A little bit. We're going to let that set just for a little while. And before we put it on the stove. So then, then it'll be good. So. I'd like to mention the yellow perch is freshwater. And the ocean perch, well, <laughs> why do you think it got its name? It came from the ocean, right? <laughs> That's not too hard to figure out. Okay, so, now, I want to cut up an onion. I have a favorite place that I like to go for seafood. Um, you can get it cooked or you can get it fresh. Um, they, they'll even clean your fish for you. And the place is called Arctic Seafood. It's not, not Arctic Seafood. It's Arctic Seafood. <laughs> so, remember that or you'll get it wrong. Anyway, it's a good place to go. They got lots and lots of. They got so many kinds of fish. They got more kinds of fish there than David Jones has doubloons in his locker. <laughs> That's a lot of doubloons. So I'm gonna cut up some of this here onion. And that 
just gonna go in the pan. The rest of this I'll put away. Cut this down just just one more time through there like that. Okay. Keep it. Keep it cold for later. Now, I also want to cut up some a little bit of red. Not hot pepper, but red bell pepper. And that'll be a nice flavor to go with the fish also. Let's see, just cut off some of it. And I'll cut it into some small pieces. Just for color. So here we go, like this. And that'll add a nice flavor to the fish as well. So, okay, get that all done, just like that. Okay, this stuff can go in the pan. Start the pan. Put this in here. Just like that. And, see I'm gonna get some, uh, ah, some olive oil. Little olive oil. And we'll sprinkle some around there. Enough to, uh, Enough to saute the vegetables. Okay, let's get that over here. We'll get it started. Now, I'm gonna drain the water off of this now. Okay, at this point I think we should be going to the stove, so let's go. Alrighty. Gotta get these things a cooking. Wanna get them started a little bit, give them a bit of a head start. And I'm gonna be adding a little bit of garlic. Like this, a little more. I'm gonna add a little bit of pickled ginger. Just a little. Ginger is some strong stuff. Maybe a little more, a little more. Okay, that'll be good. Mmm. Okay, now this stuff has got, got a pretty good start. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the fish. And out of the way here. Put that fish right there. Oh, I think this is going to be very good. Oh, yes. I'm going to add some pure sesame seed oil. That ought to be good. A little dribble all the way around there. And add some complete saison. It's sort of an international kind of recipe. <laughs> and this is this is known as the pirate's old spice. <laughs> it's old bay season. So we're gonna add some of that. That's the wrong hole to be sprinkling it from, but that. There we do it like this. I'll put it in the hand and then I'll pinch it around like that. I think maybe a little more. A little more. Oh, smelling so good already. And I'm going to add some shredded mango chutney from India. This is very good stuff here. So I'll put a little bit of that in there too. That'll add some nice sweetness. I want to add a pretty good amount of that. It'll be so good. You'll see. Now the fish is cooking up fast. Is there anything else I want to put in here? Let me see. Maybe some pepper. Some black pepper. That's always good stuff. Okay. I think. I think that's all I want. Okay. Let's move these fish around some more. Oh, I got a feeling this is going to be very, very good. Back. And it's gonna cook up mighty fast. Fish does that, you know. Doesn't take long for fish to cook. That's why we started the vegetables first. Oh, oh it smells so good. Oh, it's gonna be so delicious. Yes, 
<laughs> Mighty good stuff. I don't think there's any schools that'll teach you how to cook like this. Especially to a pirate, they like to skip school a lot. They're known as Captain Hookies. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Alrighty, I can't wait. Let's dish it up. Oh, it looks so good. Just put it all off on there. Into the plate. This should be mighty, mighty good. You like the bottom of my pan? <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is good. <clears throat> I could not have done any better than this. This is a keeper. I'm gonna be making this for a long time. Oh, I got a pirate joke for you. What did the pirate say on his 80th birthday? You give up? I'm 80. <laughs> You get it? <laughs> hey, matey. <laughs> mm. No, I'm glad I didn't bread this. Because this turns out to be very healthy here. Mm. The, this fish is very mild. I, I'm surprised. Usually it's a little bit stronger. And this just really just made it good. All these ingredients, they really made a difference. They made it good. Oh. Not that I don't like ocean perch when it's breaded because it's a sweet fish. It's kind of like a scallop has sweetness, or a walleye cheek, or a piece of haddock. There's types. Of, there's a type of sweet. It's not like a sugar sweet. It's a. It's just sweet. Okay. Good. But okay. All right. You've seen how to make it. Now make it yourself, and uh, don't forget to go visit Arctic Seafood. That's Ardic Seafood. Okay. And like and subscribe. And share me with your friends. And get out of here because I'm going to eat. So. Goodbye. Mm -mm. Oh, this is so good.